I really enjoyed the film and I'm so happy to speak to you both today because you guys made this film for me. I loved your characters and performances and they're just your cat they're just good people aren't they, who you guys play just really good people thank you man. thank you <laughs> um, is it quite nice to play good hearted individuals because I find so many characters are written with the kind of intention to explore the darker sides of our demeanor but these two the two you play they're just quite naturally good people is that almost felt quite rare to see in some ways Go, baby. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I think, uh, I mean, I, I guess I, I don't want to correct you, but I, I kind of want to broaden this out. I don't think, from a from a jumping standpoint, mm. he's he's not necessarily he does he does good things, mm. but he's in a situation where he's he's tempted every day to to do something that um, that ultimately, you know, would damage himself or his family or because, because of the times in which he lives, but he chooses to, to sort of transcend that and, and try to do what is the right thing. So I don't necessarily know that he's so much a good person um, as, as it is that he, he makes good choices, mm. uh, and and in in spite of the temptation not to. Mm. Um, but that having said, it is nice to play somebody who can make those noble choices d despite feeling like doing the other thing, you know, because it creates sort of a an internal conflict that becomes very real. That every every person can relate to as we go through our day-to-day -day lives. You know, I, I, I think there is something incredibly gripping when uh, you can tell stories about the regular people you see on the streets and in the tubes and in the subways every day. We don't mm -hmm. need the extra drama. I think they're the interesting stories that speak to your spirit are the stories of people that you rub elbows with every day. And there's great beauty in that. You don't always need the explosions and the car chases and the espionage and all of that. Just basic human existence is incredibly interesting. Yeah, I mean, I mean, also, I mean, you know, we only sort of see to some degree as, as an audience member, we see some of the good. You're talking about good choices. We see the good choices as an audience. Yeah. We see yes. them caring for a young girl standing by her when nobody else does. But as the two actors embodying them, do you have to create the bad? You know, every human is more than one thing. We have good choice sides. We have bad sides. Do you have an obligation to to the character to help you understand them to go off and understand what their lesser nice traits could be? If that makes sense. Yeah, I think so. I think that's that is our job. That's that's the that's the assignment to create a multi-dimensional individual that 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 then we can that we can present um to to an audience i mean i think that's that's the job of an actor is to is to is to manifest humanity in all its you know the good the bad and the ugly uh and and i think that's the only way it becomes relatable because just as easily as 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 jumping and Mabel could take in Kaya and embrace, you know, a kind of parental responsibility to her. We could have chosen to protect our our own, um, being business people in the Jim Crow South, being an exception to a, a, a rule, uh, and having something that could be taken away from us in an instant simply if somebody didn't like our relationship with Kaya. Um, you know, that was at risk. And yet, you know, we chose to do the right thing mm -hmm. um, or to do what we perceived as being the right thing. And, and I, I think that can only be measured as being right if there's, a, if there's an alternative not to. And just very quickly before I go, is this, a, is this a side to America you both know quite well? I've been to the States a few times and it's like a million countries rolled into one, different landscapes feeling so different, wildly different to the next. You've got the d desert in Arizona to the New York to the marshes in Louisiana. But is this world being depicted one that's familiar to either of you? Um, <laughs> mm, I don't know the South to the extent that Sterling certainly does. Uh, but 
when when we talk about the subject matter of the story, which to me is social consciousness, when we talk about uh, cultural differences and how how we embrace and deal with them in this country, absolutely. And that's why I was attracted to it. Uh, social consciousness, racial and social and cultural consciousness is something that is my passion to 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 speak on in my daily life and in my art. And this is a representation. And that's why I think it will resonate with uh, audiences because it is a slice of life, whether it be a uh, period or in, in current day in 2022. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was very familiar to me in the sense that I grew up in, 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 in the South. Um, and I mean, with, without the marshes, I, I, had, I had mountains, I had the you know, foothills and mountains. Uh, but it, it was the South nonetheless. And, you know, there's always, you know, vestiges of, of those things, uh, uh, even of Jim Crow, while it's not, not legal anymore, there, there are not legal in, 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 in words, but certain, certainly still in some people's hearts, you know, is, is in practice. And so growing up in that environment, yeah, um, very familiar with it. Brilliant. Well, I thought your performances were fantastic. And thanks for speaking to me today. Good luck with the release of the movie. Thank, Thank you, you, darling. Cheers. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, hey.